as ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Game number three, Aser has it within his grasp. He is one win away from a championship, from returning to his former glory all the way back in season three. Never gave up, never gave in. He wants to dethrone Hammy. And this is how it goes down in game number three. Hammy is Armenia, Aser is Bactria, and Hammy only bringing five melee. We've seen some builds like this before. Seen some build five Hillman, Royal Cataphract General, four Eastern Cataphracts. Hold on, I can't count. Yeah, four Eastern Cataphracts, Royal Cataphract, two Cappadocian, and eight horse archers. Here is his opponent, guys. A lot of micro, a lot of management. It's gonna be a long drawn out game. As look at those points soar. I will close the bets when the battle starts. <clears throat> Aser. This might not be what he wants to see. All that cavalry. He's got quite a bit of melee. And the thorax sword. Five thorax sword. Four hillmen. Now we see the horse archer damage. Looks like he's got uh, four Scythians and two horse archers with four Bactrian. Noble horse and a one Bactrian royal cav. The stage is set. Look at Hammy's battle formation. Five melee. Five melee. I'd say that's a big risk. As we are underway, game three, the potential last game for Total War League season 11. The predictions are now closed. You better get it in. They are done. You should have got your bets in. But here we go. I have to close it because Jelly or because everybody's betting. Because everybody's betting. <laughs> so here we go. The horse archers immediately off to the side. We saw last game. We saw a Ser just dominate that initial skirmish battle. He baited, he switched. He frustrated. His opponent. As now he sees what he's up against. Huge cataphract showdown. But uh, we saw that Pilum. I think that was in, with that Colchis build in game one. We saw that Pilum really, really deliver. So maybe he can get, you know, maybe he can get something out of these, uh, you know, the Thorax and the Hillman. Not, not just in the beginning, but also towards the mid game and the end game. It's going to be big. Going to be big. Now the horse archers engaging in showdown here. They're getting very close. What is this a micro mistake or what just happened? A horse archer yeeted into the Bactrian Hillman might route that unit. Wow. That's stunning. It's actually stunning. Huge mistake early on from Hammy. <laughs> the Bactrian Hillman turning, noticing the tight guys, we talk about it time and time again. This is a huge micro intensive build for Hammy. He's got the right side. He's got the right middle. He's got the left middle. He's got the left side. He's got the center. Hammy is Armenia. The yellow banner. Bactria is a Sarah, the blue and red banner. <laughs> my oh my, look at the shifting. Notice this, Asair sprinting lots of places, his units gonna, gonna start getting tired. They'll be getting tired, so luckily for Hammy, that horse archer stays in the battle. He's got 13 standing. Some nice firing there. A back to horse archers. So I like the tight formation from Bactria, but also this could be interesting. Horse archers almost going into melee there. Looks like those horse archers want melee. Quickly now. <clears throat> they are going in. But I'm assuming the strategy here probably whittle down your opponent as much as you can and then 
I don't know, pound them with your cataphracts. But yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that map as Beck pointed out. Yellow surrounding. Hammy surrounding his opponent. There we go. There's the there's some targeting of the thorax sword. Nice. Where are the horse archers on the right end for Bactria? I think they've all kind of focused on one side. There could be a micro mismanagement here as I, oh, he notices, but look at this closing down power, both sides, closing down. Those horse archers, a sitting duck. Good little comeback there from Hammy. So these guys are very dwindled, 28, 39, 25. There are a total of six horse archers on this flank. Like that one might be eliminated in a melee engagement. We are going. Looks like there will be going all in. That could be two horse archers dead for a Serer. That likely to be the case, honestly. So you lost one horse archer, but you're probably going to pick up two as these hillmen come in. I don't know if they got to pill them off. But so two Scythian horse wish. archers, and there's a third horse archer Watch wanting to route. On. One of Hammy's wanting to go as well. We What's gonna happen here? They do get away. But just in time, the hillman not able to get in. So there's a nice volley. This looks beautiful from Hammy. What do we got left? 57 Scythians, 21. 19. I think there's three horse archers and still seven. Well, that one's gonna route. Well, maybe not. 11. Got this one come back? Wait. Oh yeah, he never actually routed that, that one low horse archer. So still eight horse archers. But uh, they are wasting some shots. Those loose units. That was big. So a chaotic event there, but still, Cavs standing, still some horse archers. The battle well within the grasp for anybody. Yes, yes, these horse archers dwindled down the enemy. Like we said, Hammy does not bow out. Hammy does not go away. Hammy, as you could say, is inevitable. But of course, Asair with a 2-0 lead. Anybody's ball game. Bounce of power still favoring Lord Hamilcar Barca, but does it know that these horse archers have been annihilated? Hammy brought some slingers. I think that I think that he'll enjoy these hillmen. He could get some, you know, some big volleys on those Baxter Noble Horse. Oh, no. Looks like we got a Sarah watching his back. Not the horse archer engagements he wanted. Yes, he was outnumbered. But we saw I think this is where that happened right here. Those horse archers were surrounded and crushed and slaughtered and unfortunately it was just really unfortunate there were no pickups for us there still all eight horse archers remain here comes some more movement you can hear that they were now put on fire at will the volley released and there's one as well oh wow from 54 to 33 huge hit Riders, Huge hit indeed. Will there be a pill of misuse here? There could be. Ooh. But instead, it's just the Scythian horse archer taking damage. So there is another route from Bactria. Lots of channel points were bet here. I think over, what, 150,000 channel points? Some people are going to be very, very broke, and some people are going to be very, very rich. As still, those cataphracts just waiting for the opportune time, waiting for Rosa's ammo to be used. There goes a horse archer from Armenia. Forward. But Hammy picks up one for himself. So now we're down to seven. 
We're down to seven as some pushing by Bactria. Now, in this case, you still have the cab. You still got this strong Bactrian cab. You still got your Hillman. You got Thorax Sword. Yeah, you're going to be taking some shots from, from some horse archers, but... <clears throat> we'll see if Hammy's going to run away. I, I just don't know if Hammy's going to use all his horse archer ammo first. Maybe save some. Probably going to save some, if I had to guess. But making Hammy think on his toes there. Some horse archers. Maybe out of ammo. Okay, no, no, no. Getting in, trying to get a better shot. Look at that. Wow. Nice volley. Very good volley. Well, the cataphracts push in. They're getting close. The thorax sword getting close. See some cataphract movement. Looks like the cataphract going for the cavalry. Oh, they switched the last second. And that, I don't think that's a full cataphract charge. Yes, here comes some pillum. And here comes some more cavalry. Here comes some more cataphract. We are underway. Oh, they're just gonna, are they gonna get away? They take a hit and they take a pillum. Lots of micro. Going on here as we are engaged. The next set of cataphracts in the Thorax Sword. Taking some damage. The Baxter Noble Horse trying to hold on. Those cataphracts take 10 deaths. Lots of units, but I think the surround, a lot of surrounding factors coming into play here. This Thorax Sword might be in no man's land as here comes the Cataphract. Will he find him? Looks like he does. Oh, he doesn't. Not engaged on that Thorax Sword. Not engaged. Still here we are. The Hillman not pushed in yet. Surprise, we don't see some movement. There's going to be a pillum used on that horse archer. We'll kill it. Should route it. Six men standing. I'd say this is looking pretty good for Armenia. I, I guess I can't quite tell. There goes a cataphract at 18 men. That noble horse not letting him escape. So still, we know that there remains full pillum here. And look at this push. Those horse archers might not have any ammo. But they will be swept up by that hillman. 14 cataphracts still not routing. The general wanting to get involved with those horse archers just making it tough for the cavalry of Bactria. Looks like the noble horse escape. Roll cav has got some options. <clears throat> Getting close to those pillum units. You can see some of the blue banners trying to push and prevent that cataphract from moving, but I guess he's coming in another cataphract. Big heat. Big hit indeed. Here's a horse archer for Baxter. So much going on. Hillman routing. Those Thorax sword only at 74. So here comes another Hillman. Pushing in. They get a pillum, but I'm assuming they're out of ammo. I don't know. I'm assuming they're out of ammo. Here comes a freed up Thorax sword, and there's a potential for a nice pillum right there. As look at the balance of power. It is shifting more to a Sayer. Could he could he get this? Claim his title. Lots of cataphracts standing. We've got 51 Baxter Noble Horse. Where's the Baxter in general? The Baxter in general routing this. The Baxter in general dead. Not dead, but he is routed. Baxter in general got Armenia. Their general thriving in many, many units. Big H. Right in. It's those horse archers routing. What is the melee situation? Quite a few. And I'm curious, do these hillmen have some pillum? There is still a full royal cataphract, basically, at 46 and 17. And oh boy. Here he comes. Hammy saying, not today, as the balance of power shifting back in his favor. Looking good for him in game three. Wow, those cataphract doing what they needed to do. Now this is just a cleanup. No more cav for Bactria. Just this noble cav. It's those poor thorax swords surrounded. By the Armenian cataphract. So we, unfor we saw that Hillman taking some pillum on those loose horse archers. But it wasn't meant to be. Hammy. 
never giving up, never giving in, and believe he has got game number three. As let's just get a double check. 37, 30 cataphracts. Still some melee to clean up. But uh, here come the charges. Big heat. Maybe you can pick off an Armenian general. I have no idea. I just don't think so. There is the Baxter route. Armenia completing it. The five melee heavy horse archer. Heavy cataphract. Doing the job as it's. He's a beanies, Tammy. Staying alive in game number three. Those cataphracts, name of the game, staying alive, doing the damage, Cappadocian as well. Those noble horse, it's just tough to fight. Those cataphracts, very, very tough. But there you have it, what a game.